So does the State Department have a reaction to the ICC investigation into war crime allegations in Palestinian, <laughs> excuse me, in Palestinian territories? And also, um, the prior administration had imposed sanctions against the ICC prosecutor and two of her aides who were conducting this investigation. Are those um, sanctions still in place? What does uh, this administration plan to do about them? Well, let me just start uh, generally and say that uh, we firmly oppose uh, and are disappointed uh, by the ICC prosecutor's announcement of an investigation into the Palestinian situation. Uh, we will continue to uphold our strong commitment to Israel uh, and its security, including by opposing actions that seek to target Israel unfairly. The ICC, as we have said, has no jurisdiction over this matter. Uh, Israel is not a party to the ICC, uh, and it has not consented to the court's jurisdiction. Uh, and we have serious concerns about the ICC's attempts to exercise its jurisdiction over Israeli personnel. The Palestinians do not qualify uh, as a sovereign state, uh, and therefore are not qualified to obtain membership as a state in or to participate as a state in uh, or to delegate jurisdiction uh, to the ICC. Uh, the current ICC prosecutor, Fatua Ben Souda, indicated that her office would need to assess priorities and resources before determining when and how to proceed. We noted that. Uh, the United States has always taken the position uh, that the court's jurisdiction should be reserved for countries that consent to it uh, or that are referred by the UN Security Council. Uh, as we made clear when the Palestinians purported to join the Rome Statute in 2015, uh, again, we do not believe the Palestinians qualify as a sovereign state uh, and therefore are not qualified to obtain membership uh, as a state or to participate as a state in international organizations, um, and that includes uh, in the ICC. The United States, we are committed to promoting accountability respect for human rights, uh, and justice for uh, victims of atrocities. Uh, when it comes to, to the sanctions you mentioned, look, much as we disagree uh, with the ICC's actions relating to um, the Palestinian situation and, of course, to Afghanistan, uh, the administration, uh, we are thoroughly reviewing uh, uh, sanctions pursuant to Executive Order 13928 uh, as we determine our next steps.